नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट अस टॉक अबाउट डिजिटल लॉजिक डिजाइन सो व्हाट वी हैव डन इज इन लास्ट क्लास वी हैड ऑलरेडी सीन ऑल द लॉजिक गेट्स एंड देयर प्रॉपर्टीज एंड ऑल द ट्रूथ टेबल एंड एक्सप्रेशंस एंड एवरीथिंग राइट नाउ व्हाट वी विल डू इज वी विल ट्राई टू स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम्स दैट हैज बीन आस्क्ड इन लास्ट ईयर गेट्स सो रिलेटेड टू ऑल दिस नॉट गेट एंड गेट और गेट नैंड गेट सो लॉट ऑफ यू नो लाइक लॉजिक गेट्स आर देयर and based on that various questions have been asked in last years okay so what we will do is we'll start with one by one let us say question number 1 is this was asked into 2022 okay uh, in instrumentation branch so our question is the logic block shown has an output f is given by so the what is the function that we are going to get what is the function that we are going to get at this place okay so how do we do that how do we start it right so what we can do is what we can do is we can see we have not gate and we have this is nor gate and this is also nor gate okay so we have not gate and we have nor gates so you already know not gate what is the values if we have this a it will become a bar okay and nor gate is like this a b let's say y so y is going to be a plus b bar right so this is how the expression is working right now what we will do is <coughs> we will see we will see let us solve this let us solve this so what we are going to do we can see we will try to find out what is the input at this place what is the input at this place right so if you see here it is going to come as a bar because this is a and a is becoming a bar here similar to that b is becoming b bar here okay so you can see a bar b bar is the input for first gate and what will be the output of this so you can see a bar plus b bar whole bar understood similar to that what is the input for second gate we have here a and here it is b bar okay so b bar so now what will be the output a plus b bar whole bar understood just like this a plus b bar so that is the output of your nor gate right now if you talk about f so what is going to come my f is a function of a bar plus b bar whole bar plus a plus b bar whole bar ka whole bar understood so this is the thing that we are going to get now by de morgan's theorem we can see that this part and this part can be in multiplication so we can do that what we will get a bar plus b bar okay into a plus b bar got it so this is how we can get by de morgan's theorem <coughs> now if you multiply it quickly we are going to get a in a bar into a that will go to zero later then a bar b bar plus b bar a plus b bar b bar is b bar now first term is going to get uh, cancelled because it is going to go to zero because a bar a is zero so we are going to get how much we'll take a b bar common okay so if you take b bar common then we are going to get a what a bar plus a plus 1 and you already know that 1 plus anything is 1 so that is going to give us b bar so b bar answer is d is correct one more method that you can try to find out is one more method that you can try to find out is what you can do let us do that inside this function inside this function i will take up little darker <coughs> inside this function can we solve it this one so this is by de morgan's theorem it is going to be my function as what is that a bar bar into b bar bar that is ab plus this is going to be a bar into b and this was whole bar now if you do that then we are going to get how much we are going to get b as common into a plus a bar okay and this is whole bar 
then as you can see a plus a bar is 1 so we are remaining with b bar answer so in three terms you are going to get so this is your method 2 got it let us take another question the question is this was asked in electrical engineering 2019 2019 okay okay let's let's start the question in the circuit shown below we have x and y as digital inputs so this is x this is y we have digital inputs and z, z is the digital output the equivalent circuit is so we have to identify what is the equivalent gate whether it is NAND gate NOR gate JOR gate or X NOR gate okay so our aim would be to identify what is the expression for Z and then we will see whether it is looking like which gate okay so you already know NAND gate what is the expression a B bar what is the NOR gate expression a plus B bar what is the ZOR gate expression expression it is a bar B plus a B bar and this is going to be a B plus a bar B bar so any of these expressions if you find out at Z we will be able to see that okay so this is going to be very simple I am going to write down the outputs that we are going to get after the gates okay so let us start with here so we are seeing X is going to go through not gate so it will become X bar similar to that at the output we are going to get X bar Y because it is a AND gate understood similar to that quickly we will do here so we are going to get Y as Y bar here and here we are going to get X Y bar so if you see Z my Z is going to come as uh, X bar Y plus X Y bar because this is OR gate so OR gate you know now you can see it, you can relate it what is going to happen X bar Y plus X Y bar is nothing but your ZOR gate right so it is going to be X ZOR Y so this is how you are going to write it down ZOR gate operation okay so option number C is correct <coughs> now let us see another question the question that is being asked is in the logic circuit shown below Y is given by what so it's very simple you already know that this is NAND gates okay NAND like AND and that is no, NOT right so AND plus NOT is NAND gate now you know that what would be the output of this so what we will do is we will try to write down quickly uh, suppose you want to make yourself little faster or you know like uh, you want to solve questions little faster what you have to do is quickly draw this circuit in your you know like pen and paper and you try to write down the outputs of each of the blocks okay so this is going to be A B bar is that okay this is going to be C D bar so my Y will be quickly what a B bar into C D bar whole bar and by De Morgan's theorem you already know that this is going to be a B bar bar plus C D bar bar and anything a bar bar is nothing but a so this is how you are going to get a B plus C D got it so this is very simple let us take another question in logic gates so this question is asked in 2017 in electrical engineering so we have for a three input logic circuit uh, shown below so we have p q r the output z can, can be expressed as so what would be the z so it's very simple as you can see we have q is going here so it will become q bar then the output of this gate will be P and Q bar right so it will be it is going to be P Q bar P Q bar whole bar similar to that it is going to be <coughs> Q R bar okay and Z is going to be how much it's very simple now you can see we have Z is uh, ended right so it is going to be Z is equal to <coughs> Z is equal to first is Q into 
नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट वन आई विल जस्ट टेक इट एज पी क्यू बार होल बार इन टू क्यू आर क्यू आर बार एंड टोटल इज नैंड गेट राइट सो आई कैन टेक इट एज होल बार ओके सो दिस इज हाउ द सोल्यूशन इज नाउ इफ यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व इट वी आर गोइंग टू सेपरेट देम आउट यूजिंग डी मॉर्गन सेवरम सो वी विल बी लैंडिंग अप विथ क्यू इन टू इन इंटरनली वी फर्स्ट वी विल डू दैट सो वट इज गोइंग टू कम पी बार प्लस क्यू इन टू दिस इज गोइंग टू बी क्यू बार प्लस आर बार राइट एंड दिस इज होल बार नाउ इट इज गोइंग टू कम अप एज कैन यू मल्टीप्लाई ईच वन ऑफ देम सो यू कैन सी it is going to come up as let us say q is getting multiplied with last ones okay so it will become q into q bar is 0 and q into r bar so i am going to have q r bar into p bar plus q whole bar okay now if you multiply again then you are going to land up with p bar q r bar plus q r bar okay now if i take out q r bar separate see this is having whole bar is still to q r bar separates so it is going to come up as p bar plus 1 and you already know that 1 plus anything is 1 so it is we are remaining up with how much q r bar whole bar and if you separate it out by de morgan theorem you are going to land up with q bar plus r so you can see q bar plus r option c is correct so either you can keep solving internally and then at last you will be landing up otherwise you can start with upper just like what we did in previous question and then you can solve it so anything is fine okay so you try out by other methods just now we had done for uh, the this question <coughs> this question we had done so we had done in i mean you know like outside and then we did internally so both the methods you can try out by yourself let us take another question okay the question is this was asked in computer science 2020 consider the boolean function z of a b c so these are the three inputs a b c and we have to identify what is the output z so which one of the following mean term list represent the circuit above okay so this is the mean term that is given i'll just take it here okay so these are the options that is there our aim is to identify what is the summation of mean terms that it is going to give so first of all we'll try to quickly identify what is the z output right so what we will do <coughs> you already know how to get z right so this is going to be very simple this is going to be my b bar and this is going to be my b bar c understood so my z will be z will be just or gate of a b bar and b bar c, sorry a b bar c so it is going to be a plus b bar c now you already know how to convert this into mean terms right so you we have a b is not there c is not there then we have a not there b bar c now quickly put that 00011011 a can take value for mean term you know already mean terms a will be taking 1 or i'll write it capital a a takes 1 and a bar takes 0 so in that case it is a so it is going to take 1 1 1 similar to that this uh, in the second term it can take 0 1 and this is going to take how much uh, 0 0 this is 1 1 so if you collect the terms we are going to land up with 4 5 6 7 just you find out the decimal equivalent of each of the terms so this is 4 this is 5 6 7 7 here it is 1 and 5 so i can take it as 1 5 so if you talk about the mean term expression so summation of mean terms of you collect all of them so we have 4 5 6 7 and 1 right in the second term it is 1 because 5 is already taken so if you sort them out summation of mean terms of 1 4 5 6 7 so this is the answer so we have 
वन फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन दैट इज ऑप्शन नंबर बी राइट लेटेस्ट टेक अनदर क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज दिस वॉज आज इन ई सी टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सो वी हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर क्वेश्चन एज द आउटपुट ऑफ द कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्किट गिवेन बिलो इज सो वॉट इज द आउटपुट वाई दैट वी विल बी गेटिंग ओके सो दैट्स द क्वेश्चन सो वॉट वील डू इज वॉट वील डू इज वी विल ट्राई टू क्विकली सी वॉट इज द आउटपुट एट ईच स्टेज इज ऑल राइट सो दैट्स द अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी शुड हैव सो लेटस से this is a input b input c input and each of the blocks you have this is and gate and this is zor gate so you know already for and gate my output will be ab and for zor gate my output will be a bar b plus ab bar okay so this is how we will be seeing the outputs all right or we can write it down as a zor b okay <coughs> now let us try to see on each of the terms so here we are going to get ab because a and b is the inputs and here we are going to see what b and c so it is going to be bc now at this place we have ab is the input and c is the input so output of this will be abc and here we are going to have output as this is ab and this is bc so ab is or bc so we have ab is or bc understood so what will be my y my y is going to come up as zor gate of abc and ab is or bc okay so we have zor operation between ab is or bc if you want you can write it in bracket okay <coughs> however what we will do is you know already that a uh, zor gate is commutative so all the three can be any time like either we can do abc zor ab or abc zor of ab zor bc first okay now what we are seeing here is we are seeing ab is common in first two terms so first i will take that as common <coughs> so we have ab into c zor 1 and then zor operation with bc okay so you can see that i have taken ab common from first term and, and second terms and you already know that c zor 1 so i had told you the properties c zor 1 is nothing but c bar right the zor gate operation you remember ab and this is my let us say y so y is going to be a bar b plus ab bar okay now if i make b as 1 then y will be what a bar because this is going to be b as 1 so this becomes 0 and this becomes 1 so it is y is a bar so this is how we are going to get c or 1 is c bar <coughs> ab c bar zor operation with bc now we can take b common so b is taking common so a c bar zor c so now it is going to be this is also one more uh, properties so a c bar zor c is a zor a or c okay so it is a plus c <coughs> so you can see we have b into a plus c if you if you do not remember any of the properties that doesn't matter at all quickly in the first second term i'll just quickly do it for you in the second term what is z zor 1 we have to find out right so what will you do c bar 1 <coughs> plus c bar into 1 plus c into 1 bar 1 bar is nothing but 0 so you are going to get c bar that's all similar to that if you do not remember this what will you do we have a c bar zor c so it is going to be a bar c a bar b right so it is a bar b b is nothing but here it is c plus a c bar right <coughs> so a is a c bar into c bar so you can see we have a bar plus c into c plus here it is a c bar right 
by De Morgan's theorem, I am going to you know like uh, split this. So you are seeing this thing. Then we can see that a bar c plus c plus a c bar. So here it is how much you can see that uh, I can take c common from first one. So it can be a bar plus one plus a c bar. Now I can take what uh, a bar plus one is one. So it is going to be c plus c plus a c bar. So this is going to be c plus a into c plus c bar. So c plus c bar is nothing but one. So we are remaining with c plus a or a plus c. So this is how a plus c I had written directly. Okay. So these all formula formulas if you understand then it is good enough. Otherwise you can solve it very quickly. All right. Let us take another question. We have output y and uh, in the below circuit is always one. So the question that is given is already y is equal to one. Okay. Now how it is possible when two or more inputs of P, Q, R, R, zero or uh, all of them are one or you know like something like that. Okay. So our aim is to identify when this y is going to be always one based on what conditions of values of I mean logic of P, Q and R. Okay. So our understanding should be to solve this particular question one by one. So let us start with let us start with writing the values at each of the outputs. Okay. So we have output of this particular gate is how much P, Q, right? So we can write down P, Q bar because it is NAND gate. Then here it is Q, R bar. Then here it is going to be how much? We can see it is R and P, right? <coughs> so it is P R bar. Got it. Now you can see this is again one NAND gate. So NAND gate of this is going to be how much? P Q bar into Q R bar whole bar. And not of this again is going to be again how much? P Q bar into Q R bar. That's it. So my y is going to be how much? It's very simple now. Let us solve that. Y is going to be P R bar into P Q bar into Q R bar ka whole bar. Okay. Because it is not I mean NAND gate. Now by De Morgan's theorem you already know that AND becomes OR and all of the term has to be complemented. So P, PR bar of bar is PR. So we have PR plus PQ plus QR. So like that we can get it very easily. So you can see if if you want to have if you want to have Y always as one then what is the possibility any of one of the term must be one. Okay. All the term if it is zero then it is not possible. So either PR to be one or PQ to be one or QR to be one. It means it means we are going to land up on a situation that two or more more inputs must be one must be one or must be logic one. So it means you have to understand that two of PQR or all the three of them must be one then only the output will be one. So which was the, which of the following answer is correct? Two or more of the inputs P, Q, R, R, 1 or any odd number of inputs P, Q, R, no, not possible. So we have option B. So option B is the correct answer. Okay. Let us take another question. The question is, the question is, we have shown in the figure shown below, why is the output required? to be a b plus c bar d bar. So y is given as a b plus c bar d bar and our aim is to identify gates g1 and g2 right. So what is gate g1 and what is gate g2 right. This is the understanding. So let us try to understand how we can you know like come backward okay. So you already know my y is y is given as a b plus c bar d bar. So as you can see, to be, uh, for y to be like this, 
if I take, if I consider this is my A B and this is my C bar D bar, then G2 must be what? Or gate because they have to be added. So G2 has been an addition. So G2 I can write it down as or gate. Understood? So you can see uh, G2 is or gate, so only two options A and C are correct. Okay. Now out of these two, our aim is to understand what is my G1. Okay. So you know, since we have to get A B at the output of G1, and what is the input for G1? It is A bar, B bar. So what is the function that we will apply A bar and B bar so that we can get A B? All right. So if we do nor gate of this, let us say if we do nor gate of this, like uh, we have what? We have a b a bar b bar. So if you add them and then put not get not of that, then what we are going to get a into b. Okay. So this is how z one will be z one will be nor gate. Okay. So option A is correct. understood so you can see uh, g2 was or gate because it needed one addition and g1 is nor gate because it needs uh, you know like addition of this plus not of that okay so we had input to z1 as a bar and b bar and these two if we operate it like nor gate we are going to get ab at the output which is required to have y as the required function okay let us take another question so this was asked in 2014 so we have ample amount of questions we will be you know like uh, solving little less number of questions now because we have already solved a uh, quite huge number of questions just you need to have an understanding like how you are going to you know like uh, attempt the question to solve it because logic based questions are very very easy so let us say <coughs> in the circuit shown below, if C is zero, so C has been made zero always. Okay, the expression for Y will be what? So what is the first step that I will do? I'll put C equal to zero. So you know C is zero, then not gate of this. This is my not gate, so this is going to be one. Is that is that okay? Now my A B, it is going to go to nor gate, so that will become A plus B bar. And then C, this is zero always, so no problem. So anything plus zero, this is OR gate. So anything plus zero is the same, same thing, right? So we are going to get output of this gate as A plus B bar, okay? And this is my AND gate, so it is going to be A, B, and this is going to go through OR gate. So the input of this NAND gate is going to be how much? A, B plus A plus B bar. Now, what will be my y? So, y is nothing but NAND operation of this whole thing, right? So, NAND operation of, let us say my y is going to be, y is going to be a b plus, <coughs> plus a plus b whole bar into 1, right? Ka whole bar. Okay? So, this is my complete expression for y. Now if we try to solve this, 1 is anyway gone because 1 into anything is same thing. Now if we, we try to solve this by De Morgan's theorem, okay. So what will happen? The plus will become multiplication. So it is going to be a b bar into a plus b bar bar is nothing but gone. So it is going to be a b bar into a plus b. Now we solve again. So first time it is going to go with De Morgan's theorem a bar plus b bar into a plus b now if we multiply quickly so you know already a bar into a is going to be zero but i'll write it once okay so a bar into a plus a bar into b <coughs> plus we have uh, b bar into a plus b bar into b now you can see a bar into a is gone and b bar into b is gone because they are going to be zero So the value that we are, uh, you know, like going to have is a bar b plus a b bar. Okay. So you can see a bar b is the second term and a b bar is the third term. Okay. So this is how you are going to go to have this operation, this this values. So this is going to go to zero. This is going to go to zero. 
and this is how we are landing up on option A. So option A is correct. So all right, uh, we will see more questions on these logic gates. However, we will stop right now. Thank you.